Hi, welcome back. Here we go with the derivatives of a division or a quotient, okay? The rule is pretty simple and we demonstrated in the past video. Again, I'm going to go over it real quick. F divided by G derivative equals G without derivative times F derivative minus derivative of G times F. Division, G squared. It's just as simple as that. You have to be very, very careful when doing derivatives of divisions, okay, or functions that are divisions. Because the larger the functions are, the more organized you have to be, and the more room there is to make a mistake, okay? And it's not real hard, it is a little bit hard, and you have to put a lot of effort into it. But the main thing that you have to focus is on being slow, take your pace, take your time, make sure the multiplications are fine, make sure that the uh, signs are correct and you should be fine, okay? Just do it at your regular pace and don't get nervous. Be organized and keep track of what you're doing. So what we're gonna do here is label F and G. Well, here's F and here's G. Okay? So, Y prime and I end up looking a little bit like this. I'm going to use the color so I can be consistent with the rule, okay? G x squared minus 5x plus 5. Derivative of f. Two x plus three prime minus derivative of g x squared minus 5x plus 5. Times f, 2x plus 3. That's the prime right there. And at the bottom, we have x squared minus 5x plus 5 squared. There we go. From this point on, as you can see, there's a lot of x's, there's a lot of numbers, there's a lot of constants and variables here all over the place. All you have to do is be organized, okay? I use the color so that you can visualize f and g separately. And now I'm going to use the black so I can stay consistent with that. Okay? So let's work. We have y prime equals x squared minus 5x plus 5 times the derivative of 2x plus 3. The derivative of 2x is 2. The derivative of 3 is 0. So we have 2 right here. Minus the derivative of x squared is 2x, derivative of minus 5x is minus 5, derivative of 5 is 0, times 2x plus 3. Fraction, x squared minus 5x plus 5 squared. All we have to do from here and on is just add, multiply, subtract, do basic operations, and we'll be fine and done with the exercise. I'm going to continue right here. So let's do this real quick. 2 times x squared is 2x squared. 2 times minus 5x is minus 10x. 2 times 5 is 10. minus 2 times 2x, I'm sorry, 2 times x, 2x is 4x squared, 2x times minus 5 is minus 10x, running out of space. Three times 2x is 6x, a negative, And 3 times minus 5 is 15. 
minus plus 15 squared. And from there on, all you have to do is simplify. Okay? Let's see, where can I erase? Let's do it right here. Let's look at similar elements. Minus 4x, 2x squared is minus 2x squared. Let's look at similar elements. Minus 10x, minus 10x, minus 6x is minus 26x. Let's look at similar elements again. Plus 10, plus 15 is plus 25. Over x squared minus 5x plus 5 squared. Anything to simplify? Doesn't look like we can simplify at all. So there you go. That is the solution for the exercise. Always be organized. Always handle similar terms. Always be aware of multiplications with constants and the variables. See you in another video.